Hello, my name is Matt Bottoman. I'm the Multiphoton Sales Manager here at Scientifica, and I'm going to explain the difference between Galvo and resonance scan mirrors. I'll start with Galvo mirrors. A Galvo mirror is a mirror that will rotate to an angle dependent upon the voltage you give it. So if you were to give a mirror zero degrees, zero volts, it might be in this position. If you were to give it one volt, it might be in this position. If you could give it minus one volt, it might move to this position. Because they're very controlled, we can give them different voltage over time and make them move in a very controlled way. I, we can also control their speed simply by giving this voltage faster and therefore control their scan. Because we have full control, we can use them to move the laser spot in both X and Y and it gives us a number of options for our scans. For example, we can do a traditional sawtooth scan where the laser scans out, moves back to the start and scans another line. With this, we can get up to about two frames a second full field. Another alternative is to do a bi-directional scan, where the laser scans and records in both directions. With this, we can get up to four frames a second at full field. These are particularly good because they give you a nice high resolution, clean image for both in vivo or in vitro. However, because we have such control over the mirrors, we can also do a few other scans. For example, we can move around and do line scans through multiple regions of interest. For example, this area here, this area here, and the tip of this uh, piece of tissue. We can ask the laser to move in this pattern. With this, we can therefore multiple, potentially multiple calcium signals. Uh, and at between 500 and 700 sc line scans per second. The other option is to scan just a small area. For example, we could just scan in this box to just this small part of the sample. With this, we can again get much higher speeds, up to 30 frames a second. The final thing Galvos are very, very good for is doing a slow scan. We could do a scan at, say, half a frame a second to pick up great detail in morphology or structural experiments. I'll now move on to resonance scanners. A resonance scanner is like a Galvo, but much, much faster. When you give it a voltage, it begins to rotate at a fixed speed, and the amplitude, or the amount that it rotates, depends upon the voltage. For example, at zero volts, you have a flat mirror. At one volt, it might rotate to this sort of angle in each axis. At two volts, it might be much more extreme. Because we have, a lack of con because we have this additional speed, uh, we tend to use them in the x-axis when we're scanning, and then a Galvo in the y. Because of their speed, we will only do bi-directional scans with them. However, because of their additional speed, we can get up to about 45 frames a second. If that's not fast enough, we can just scan a small sample and scan it much, much faster. With that, we can get up to over 180 frames a second. Scientifica offer a number of uh, scanning options with both Galvo and resonance scan mirrors, so if you'd like more information, please get in touch.